solidly good. Robin, the meta is still being pushed by Jewel, who did let, let us know on Twitter that after season one, he's gonna start practicing more damage combos. And just like, like he did to Venya, <laughs> he, he, my man, my man is delivering. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely delivering like FedEx. And let's see what, uh, let's see if he's the whole package here against House of, House of 3000's Dill. But uh, Dill going up high, interestingly enough to uh, start game one. and. You would think that would uh, present Jewel a, pr a prime opportunity, but really, maybe just trying to see if Jewel will chase him up there. Mm -hmm. And speaking of chasing up there, well, I guess, like, I like, to, like I like to point out, Jewel knows his every move's trajectory. Immediately arc firing to get back up, and then just actually just going up for the up air. Seven, 72% to 90%. Both of these characters are, are monsters when it comes to getting the kill, and they love Battlefield. They can shark through the platforms. They can use the platforms to help them to help them actually, you know, get their kill confirms. This yeah. this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting match, man. I mean, I can only imagine that Battlefield Jewel is like, I mean, th this has got to be like T-ball for uh for Dill getting those up airs. But right now he's in disadvantage. He'll have to get back to the stage if he wants uh, such an opportunity. Look Forward at air. that item play. Oh. He he, oh, he dropped the and sword, he caught him with the bro. lemon sword. Beautiful stuff. And then the back air. Look, he ha- he Oh, wow. my! And he has the book. He still has the book in hand. Exactly. It's a kind of magic, indeed. Shoutouts to Queen. Those books are definitely filled with socks. Like, just... <laughs> just oh, yeah, for sure, No, quarters, man. quarters, quarters. Just like... Bit. <laughs> <laughs> One. Oh, man. And this is... Oh, oh my. my goodness! Shh. Holy smokes, uh, talk about a book burning man. Dill just roasting the pages right out of the tomes. Mm -hmm. But great on him to actually acknowledge the fact that, you know, like, he used his double jump. He's going to use up B to recover, but I'm going to smack the hell out of him before he does that. And Jewel playing like a man on a mission, and he certainly is. Dill has a perfect record on Jewel in Smash Brothers Ultimate at the very least. And, I mean, it seems like Dill has had, uh, has had Jewel's number for the longest time. Jewel trying to prove himself against uh, one of New York's finest and trying to earn the right to face Mystery in Winner's Final. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does do it, man. J Jewel always... <laughs> wow, that's so smart by Jill, knowing that that reflects too, like... But Jewel yeah. always advancing the Robin Meadow. Look at that, waiting for her Jewel, uh, Jill to actually spot dodge to come down with that with that air. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, and Robin, again, not a character that you see... Uh, Quite often, I mean, I think we see it a little bit more often than uh, than most people uh, than would. Uh, that I mean, we do in Philadelphia. We have uh, people like Capsui and uh, and Thunderstorm who have made their name known, and also Six WX won a code name Bears with Robin. Fun fact: um, he, he may very well have fought GWJ, who plays Rob. So, um, but it should be interesting to see how Jewel negotiates the. Uh, the muddy waters that Dill is uh, looking to pollute here. Yeah, but unfortunately, actually, I think he was going for the forward air, but he didn't have the, I was gonna say, maybe he didn't have the sword available, but unfortunately he didn't get the kill. Knowing that, knowing how far Robin's directional air dodge was gonna go, actually snapping the ledge, he has to get out of this, oh. this position. Invincibility running out and Dill catching him with the neutral air. Uh, Jewel says, you know what? Have a back air for your troubles. And just like that, we're even at one stock apiece. Now, it should be noted, and Wolf, I know you have an opinion on uh, on these things. It seems like you have an opinion on everything. But, uh, <laughs> but heavy's Wolf's in, opinions. <laughs> but now, now, heavy's in this game. I, th I would feel like, uh, I would feel like heavies are better in this game than they ever have been. It depends but, on which ones. Uh, the, the mains of those characters definitely. I mean, just as a general statement. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. They have they have more options. It's not just grab to, you know, grab to combo anymore. Like Rob himself has a bunch of options that he can use to keep Jewel out of his range. And then what, even when Jewel does get close, he still has that you know his side beat, his yeah. <laughs> his his Beyblade to keep him away. Like there, there's so there's so much uh, uh, interactions that that can happen just because of the uh, the. Uh, you t artillery of both of these characters, I want to say? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say artillery. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, the uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. An armory's worth of weapons for both, but uh, should be noted, I mean, you, you could say also with zoning weapons, uh, DDD's Gordo, definitely one of the better ones, even though, it, despite the nerf in the 3.0 patch. Oh, my! And Dill, just like that, tearing through the last stock of Jewel. 
And that's a precarious position. I mean, it's man versus machine for sure. Let's go back to the replay here. And the thing is that Jewel hasn't really come up like he, right there. He hasn't really arc fired above the ledge that many times. So for Dill to actually capitalize on the one out of like the four times he did it, that was actually insanely smart. And the fadeaway backer too. So if Dill missed, he was actually super safe on that one. Indeed. So now uh, sticking with the Robin, as he uh, probably should. It's not like he was playing poorly. And what I was about to say as we go to uh, back to Battlefield for game number two, yeah, I, mean, I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a tough proposition when you're talking about, uh, when you're talking about heavies in this game because you do have a. a you do have an increased amount of options, generally speaking. You're better with movement because, I mean, we were talking about DDD. He's uh, if, moving with DDD in the last game was like trying to walk through with snowshoes through the Amazon. It just, <laughs> it, it was so clumsy, so unintuitive. But uh, now you see results being taken, like, uh, like say, Adamus finishing 25th a pound or something like that. You, you see, uh, you see these guys. Or Leon in Jersey. Need I say more with Bowser? Bowser. But uh, it's it's tough because I feel like. Heavies, just by nature, can get railroaded if you have a character that's mobile enough. The question really is, Wolf, is Robin capable of doing it? Because he's Oh, not my God! Yes, oh he is! Oh, my! You have your answer right there, Stu. A resounding you yes! Si se puede, con you! <laughs> hey, hey, vamonos, muchachos, en el barrio, says Jewel. And now, he's uh, looking to... Advance on this lead, sitting at 99% and piling up the damage. Ooh. Missing on that Nosferatu command grab. Look at that placement for the sword. Oh my He's like, gosh. Oh, you thought you were going to get away from me, but no, you really yeah. weren't. <laughs> I saw what you did with that uh, gyro. Here, let me show you what I can do. Mm -hmm. Wow, Back actually here. understanding that he... He's learning from his mistakes. He understood that he came up with an attack before oh and got my. got actually killed you know, by Dill's back air. So in that case, he actually just came up with an immediate forward air. What the hell was that trajectory? Like, I am not quite sure. Like, where where was he supposed to go? Unbelievable. And now, as we're seeing here, he uh, wound up losing that uh, wound up losing that stock. And oh my oh god! Oh my! Oh, not gonna do it just yet. But n notice how aggressive Jules being, keeping Dill in this position that yeah. Dill just doesn't want to be in right now. 85% taken off of one exchange. Dill by exchange, I mean, you know, the, the whole exchange. <laughs> Dill wow. recovering high, but indeed says, okay, you want to go high? Let me send you even higher, courtesy of that Levin Sword. And just like that, Jewel making tournament magic happen here. Let's see if he can spell cast his way in a winner's final with one more victory and indeed break the spell that Dill seems to have over him in competitive play. Yeah, man, but I mean, if if Jewel plays like if he if Jewel plays like he did, I, I I think it's definitely doable, man. You you know, you know, Jewel uh, Dill has why do they sound so similar? Dill has a perfect win record over Jewel, right? So at this, you know, when someone constantly beats you in tournament, you kind of want to call me a bracket team. Not saying that Dill is his bracket demon, but results show. You know. So what happens when you when you constantly play your bracket demon? You adapt. You learn. And as we see that second stock, Jewel knew immediately. You know what? I'm not going off stage enough when he's when he's recovering. He can't really do anything as he's like you know doing the little up B like project uh, booster thingy. So I'm gonna beat ass. <laughs> so this is going to be uh, a little bit tougher for. Uh... I feel like for Jewel, as the stage is set for Kalos at game number three, oh. it's a lot of room for that Rob to work with. So, and that's a lot more it's space. Gonna be tough. For, yeah, it's a lot more space for uh, for that Robin to have to close down. And I, that's a, it's honestly a very very smart counter pick by Dill because of the, the exact reasons that you just said. He wants the space. You know what? Oh, and oh, I'm not. Wait, what? Know, wait, excuse me. Jewel. Wait a second. Perhaps, uh... Jewel, what you doing, Jewel? Did I really say it that loud that he heard me? I mean, I know I project. Don't get me wrong, but... Oh, is he really thinking I, about this? I don't understand what... I don't know what they're, what they're laughing at. Okay, all right. Oh, my. The, uh... I want to know the joke. Yeah, I mean, I'd, uh... I'd love to know, too. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm like, well, it was so funny. Oh, man. Well, this is no laughing matter for Jewel. He is one game away 
from winner's final where once again Mr. E awaits so sword against sword potentially however a, a robot looking to throw a wrench in those plans yeah, man, for sure. or a gyro to be has, specific. Jewel is no stranger to winning Xeno. He is a champion as they like to call it over here. I don't know why but this is thing. What? <laughs> a ch yeah champion. <laughs> what? Don't ask questions just champion. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> He is no stranger to winning Xeno, so these high pressure situations are nothing for him. And Dill has to find a way to get to come back on stage. Beautiful laser. <laughs> Taking Jewel for a ride right now. Is he gonna spike him? Oh yes. Ooh. Almost, almost. Great oh. closing of the space by Jewel. Understanding where Dill wants to go at all times. Dill's not gonna get away with these back airs anymore, man. Absolutely not, indeed. Trying to uh Trying to be in the face of Jewel as much as possible. Does not want those projectiles charged up. Because, I mean, Rob's recovery in a vacuum, incredibly good. But, oh, there you go. Jewel maybe getting a little uh, little too fast and loose with his. He uh, catches an up air. Oh. Obviously not going to kill, but... Uh, at a Yo, he went deep! Oh, my! And, yeah, there you go. Catching Dill. He knew, I mean, he remembers from game number two what that uh, Elwin did to him. So he said, you know what? I'll go a little higher than that. And then Jewel is there to answer with the back air and indeed take the first stock. And this is what I'm saying. He's understanding. Wow. Well, there you go. Conditioning, man. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, definitely conditioning. And Jewel, Jewel knows. Jewel knows that he has to be aggressive with Rob, with Rob off stage at this moment. Oh, you cannot linger on that ledge for too long or you will get clapped. Actually waited for the forward smash. You know, waiting until Dill actually finished that spot dodge animation to do that. And it's interesting. Now, I'm not sure how this shakes out on paper. I can't say that I've extensively studied the Rob Robin matchup, Wolf. But nonetheless... I don't think anyone has, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that's the guy. I'm sure that someone's going to call me out in chat. Um, <laughs> folks, if you, uh, folks, if you think that I'm an idiot for not knowing the Rob Robin matchup, uh, subscribe to House of 3000, twitch.tv slash House of 3000. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Rob versus Robin, again, not really sure how this shakes out, but I feel like, I mean, Dill, is, he's really, he's getting a lot of his bread and butters uh, pretty consistently with Jewel. I mean, is this Jewel? Oh, oh my goodness gracious. My, if you're not gonna come through this fire, I will come smack you my myself. Oh my goodness, and now Dill, he needs uh, he needs two more of those uh, of those down throw into up airs, it seems like. And, and that seems like he is getting these with relative consistency, I mean, is it just a matter of the jewel? Oh, oh he gets that was him dirty. With the Wally Wop off of the side, and that has kill power now. Like it's it's very much improved over the prior iteration of Smash Brothers. So, uh, Dill, with one less stock to worry about, but he needs to get back to work here and needs to get back to the stage. And Jewel is just not letting him. We've mentioned at this moment, you know, before and after before this match, that Kalos is super good for Rob because he's gonna want, he's gonna have all the space that he wants. But Jewel does not seem to have trouble closing the space at all. Like he's just there in your face. Indeed, and uh, Dill, you're resorting to using the gyro as a poking tool, and it is effective. But I mean, Rob, perhaps this is the uh, the curse of Kalos. A little too much space to close down for uh, Jewel to just be caught off guard oh, by no. simply any old thing. Oh, oh my God. He's in disadvantage. Looking for the down air, makes it back. However, Jewel, he's still alive. Oh, and oh gets caught with the gyro. Yo, that arc fire is saving him right now. The active hitbox on that is actually just stopped him from getting hit from the gyro combo. Jewel looking to cast an exorcism on his bracket demon. And Jill, is this going to be it? The down throw, looking for the up smash, does not find it. Looking for that kill in neutral, deciding not to jump. Neutral air catches him on the ledge. And he's forces uh forcing Jewel to go a little bit higher than maybe he would have liked, but and the not punished. immediately get turned as once again you see Jewel use his arc fire! Oh, oh this time it barely but he missed the, the arc thunder. Oh, Beautiful but he catches him! A lemon smash. sword! Jewel, a diamond in the rough, shines bright here at Xeno 158. He'll move on to winner's final. Let's take a look at the moment Jewel overcame his bracket demon. That was beautiful. Understanding that Dill was actually going to jump because if not, he's going to get hit with another arc fire, man. Uh, but guys, really quickly, that's going to be it for me. Um,